Hi, my name is Namia Losandra Angelica. I'm in my fourth year doing mechanical engineering at Makere University. Um, I chose this course majorly because it's challenging and it's interesting. Though many people perceive it as a course uh, that requires a lot of muscle and when I meet many men they ask me why I'm doing mechanical engineering as a woman. But I have come to realize that it's majorly uh, a course that requires your brain more than your muscle. It requires you to think outside the box, to design, to solve problems that will actually help the community. One time, back in the day when I was from class in my senior two, I met a friend of mine who was my mentor at the time as well and she told me that she wanted to pursue a degree in aeronautics engineering. Being a girl who is fascinated by big terms and challenging things, I decided to take it on. But when I was doing my research in my VAC, Essex VAC, I found out that to do a master's in aeronautics engineering, I needed to have a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. So I applied for mechanical engineering and by God's grace I got it. Mechanical engineering has really challenged my mind and the way I see life and I have appreciated problems more and uh, the issue of problem solving to improve our community. The short form for uh, mechanical engineering as viewed on the streets of the world is being a mechanic. Now with that uh, line of thought, many people have the point of view that when you're doing mechanical engineering, you go under car, get all messed up and very dirty. But um, my few years that are yet to be completed uh, in mechanical engineering have helped me realize that it's majorly the involvement of my brain, an analysis and um, application of different solutions to the problems that we face every day. And one of the other modules that we study is computer-aided design. One of the reasons why I loved it so much was the fact that uh, they give you lines on a paper and you're challenged to actually build it up into something. For example, they break down a box into tiny, tiny pieces and then you assemble it using computer software. We use uh, Solid Edge, Solid Works, and when you are in fourth year, uh, you actually get to use CATIA. Now, CATIA is a program where you can actually uh, simulate how a particular product would act. Like if you're assembling a tractor, you get to actually show how it will move and how it will perform all its duties as a tractor. So that um, also inspires me and excites me about mechanical engineering. One of the things that uh, I learned during my internship or a challenge I found was uh, I was in a factory where people work with lead and lead is a dangerous substance to your lungs but uh, the extraction system that they had was not good enough to take out all the lead and one of the challenges they had was the fact that they would have very many people hospitalized because of that problem so as an engineer I uh, was challenged to actually design an extraction system that would help with uh, to better the, their conditions such that they remove all the lead. I was doing my senior five, I decided to do physics, chemistry and mathematics. Now uh, when you want to be an engineer, most people encourage you to do physics, economics and mathematics because it's faster, but chemistry has been very helpful, especially in uh, modules like material science, production, planning, because you do a lot of material selection and you go all the way down to the components of um, of metals and stuff like that and polymers all that is in chemistry and it would put you a step ahead if with your classmates especially if you're doing mechanical engineering so i chose uh, physics chemistry and math and in this era you only do three so i would advise someone to do that the advice i'd give uh, the girl child out there who is aspiring to for a career in mechanical engineering is not to feel marginalized by the fact that you're a girl but to see beyond the limits that the world has set to actually look within yourself and see the person that you want to be and go beyond the measures and the limitations of this world because when I first walked into that class and were only four girls I felt very very small but we are finishing the course and I am doing very well academically and I'm actually very proud of myself and that encourages me 
to keep going on as a lady to pursue a career in mechanical engineering and one day be among the best engineers the world has ever known. So I would encourage anyone out there, a girl more so, who aspires to walk the path that I am walking, that um, you can make it and you will only fail if you think that you will fail. As engineers, we saw in areas filled with problems and I cannot wait to meet you on the other side where we're the problem solvers.